Right, welcome back to group D. So, as the thumbnail says, our two radii is better than one. I tried it out and results were surprising. Um, this is the 240, as you know. So, about mid last year, we, I decided to shift some weight around in the car by moving the fuel cell from the center of the car to the back of the car. So, just to imp improve some rear grip, um, change things around, get a feel for it, see how much of a difference moving that percentage weight backwards made the car feel, etc., etc. Just development and testing and all that. So here's what I ended up with after moving the cell. So it did, it wasn't the easiest thing. So you have our Group D modular frame, which was on it previously also. And then we put a fuel cell in here with the beautiful Nuke CFC that's covered in shit. And then uh, the old radiator that we were using, which is, I think, that one. So that radiator was in the rear, kind of at this angle and going much lower than the two inch box frame here it was down to kind of like the center of the diff. And obviously that couldn't go back in. So I had to come up with something to fit in the A in the gap and not be too big, so to speak. So once I only had, we'll say the distance from the two inch frame to the boot door, that meant to have the equivalent surface area of a radiator, it would have had to be really wide and, and outside of the, we'll say, chassis frame of the car, which I wouldn't like to do. So I came up with this, with the help of Mishimoto. So, sorry about all the dirt. We had a oil leak and everything stuck to it, but these are two Honda Civic Mishimoto radiators mounted in a V at the rear of the car with two Mishimoto race line fans on them, two 12 inch fans. And something I always wanted to try was two radiators in a V kind of makes sense for the, the angle of attack of drifting. So one is kind of always facing the air, but I guess then the other one isn't facing the air. So it doesn't make sense, blah, 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 I don't know. But anyway, fitted them. Um, just like all our builds, the, the fans run independently, so you have like a hot one and, a, and a, a hotter one, so to speak. So the ECU will switch this one first and switch this one second at a higher temperature. Just keeps the load off the alternator, big heat of amps off the alternator, switching them both at the same time, etc. And two aren't needed. One can manage the car for idle it can manage the car for queuing it can manage the car quite well on its own under load um and the second one comes in when there's big demand for cooling i have actually not seen the second fan come on so at all times when i'm outside the car be it queuing or whatever i've only seen one fan come on so this setup turned out to be incredibly efficient um it actually seems to work better than the big, massive, single dual pass radiator, which is which works really well. I mean, none of our cars overheat, so I never have a problem. But this, I noticed the, the, the fan is on shorter amount of time and uh, it really worked out absolutely sweet. So not only did I have a, a space constraint with the PS13 being a saloon car whatever you want to say with the window and having a, a flat boot here uh the 180 sx we'll say probably would have stuck with the same radiator at a bit of an angle um something like a 14 or 15 is much bigger back here so it gives you much more room but uh this turned out to work really really well so much so that it's going to be put into some customer cars the same kind of um idea instead of one large radiator we're going to run two small radiators because it works so well one massive advantage is being able to access the fuel pumps and fuel lines and wiring and everything it creates so much more space 
to work with um it's so much easier to access everything with the two radiators that are quite low rather than a massive radiator at an angle and having to access the fuel pumps from the back or if it's at this angle having to get in here if you ever had a problem this really worked out well so i was absolutely delighted with it um not sure what the future holds for this setup in the rear of this car there's quite a few changes going on here right now it's down to absolutely nothing almost so i'm not sure if this setup is going to remain or be slightly modified or be completely modified but certainly the two radiator setup is going to find its way into some customer cars that are here um and i thought it just worked brilliantly um, filling through one side here we put an in fitting here just to bleed obviously you could get a lot of trapped water otherwise we're pushing the water in here the hot water in it has to travel through the radiator up to the top across the top and it has to travel down and it comes out here there's actually an electric water pump sits here then um so it pumps it back to the engine now that was another concern was you know hot water rising and all that kind of stuff what was the best way to take water in take it out of a dual system this in theory mightn't be the best way but it works absolutely perfectly um it worked perfect uh, no problems whatsoever so really happy with it so it's two honda civic mishimoto radiators got the mishimoto cowling that bolts straight on this is off the shelf part off the shelf part and then the cowling comes with a slimmer fan so we just uh, remove the slimmer fan put in the mishimoto race fans which are absolutely excellent and uh yeah it took a lot of messing away we did add this piece and added bracketry and everything and moved the pipes in and out and all that but i mean a couple of off the shelf small radiators with an off the shelf cowling and a pair of fans worked a dream so I really like the compactness of this system and everything. So it's something we're definitely going to use in the future. So two radiators can be better than one. So um, might give someone some insight for their own build where they're cut for space or no large radiator fits. If you have a lot of power, you need something large. So might give someone some inspiration or some ideas on, on how they can get creative with mounting their own um, radiators. So thanks for watching. Nice short one this time, but uh, see you guys next time. Uh, at Group D.